Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back from Club D10 on Blue Side of Infant Battles. We are going to do an interesting challenge today. Guess what it is? I mean, you probably already saw the thumbnail or the title. I don't know. What? Glue gunners only. That's right, glue gunners. You know, the guys that are only meant to really stick stuff. Basically it. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Exciting, I know. <laughs> yeah, we're just doing glue gunners only, so. We don't have much damaging towers, considering we are, see, like, the super monkey, not gonna be used. Uh, ice monkey, not used. Motor, not used. Just glue gunner. Whether or not this is possible, I have no idea. However, it should be a fun time. I think, at least. And let me know if you guys want me to do more challenge videos like this, because I will totally do more challenges. Let's see. Pop the balloons. I mean, if the balloons get the glue on them, he just needs to shoot more glue. That's the issue. Oh, he can hit the balloons with some of them. There. So, are you guys excited for Animal Crossing New Horizons? I know I am. Should be a good game, I hope. That balloon gonna pop. That's a problem. So I think we're gonna need to get the extra corrosive glue. Let's see, it's extreme solvents. So we're gonna need to get that because there's no way we're gonna be able to survive otherwise. I'm gonna sell one of these glue gunners because right now if I don't have enough money and I wouldn't make sense to sell them right now because I can't I still couldn't afford it but once I can afford it I'm selling this glue gunner should not be too long then oh they're sending balloons that is not good that's not good at all okay but we will work with it because so what we just got balloon dissolver two layers every second come on Wait, what? Pops one instantly. Pops once instantly. Pops once instantly. Confusing words. Because English, good language. <laughs> but yeah. I'm gonna get another glue soak. And I'll probably get this guy with the, the large amounts of glue. Like, so much glue. You know what I'm talking about, I hope. Shoot those guys, shoot those guys, shoot those guys. Pop eventually. But now we just wait for upgrades so I can afford them. This challenge seems entirely possible problem is money because if i send balloons yes i'll make more money long term but i need more towers i need more defense right now there we go okay what why isn't he shooting those why isn't he targeting the first one i'm confused attack what this is I have no idea. Why isn't he attacking them? I'm so confused. Well, whatever. Dude. Yeah, 
get another corrosive glue guy over there just to be safe. This is not going well. Yeah, this is going to be a lose, unfortunate loss. Sucks. But it's a learning experience because lose now so that way we hopefully don't have to lose again why isn't he hitting them what the the problem with glue gunners is that can't do too much damage because if it's covered in glue already then it doesn't then this yeah this guy's completely useless he hasn't done anything i think i'm gonna get rid of this guy oh i lost of course i didn't figure as much well it was a learning experience because oh freaking great this guy wants to go again okay well let's just Equal with it. Alright, I'll see you in the next round. I started. Hey, whoa, I'm back. Just start up the new round. Still going strong with the glue gunners. I don't know this map too much, unfortunately, so I'm not too familiar with how it functions. The problem with glue gunners is that they don't actually, like, damage. They just put glue on the towers and move on with their lives. Because you only really need one glue gunner at a time. I mean, you can have two different kinds of glue gunners. This guy has some interesting boobs. So I'm gonna get the glue soak on this guy, so that way he's on par with the other dude. Because now they're the same. One of this dude's gonna get the corrosive, and then this dude's gonna get the splatter. Then we're just probably gonna do the same thing as before, since no matter how many towers you have, unfortunately. This guy's an interesting strategy. Ninja Elite 0857. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I'm on the left this time. You guys probably already knew that, considering I'm using glue gunner spot. He is using a weird strategy where he's not really getting towers. He has one tower and he's just letting them punch him. But he's probably freaking filthy rich. I don't want to attack him because I know he'll he'll strike back with more force. Because he clearly has an effective strategy. I just have yet to see what it truly is and how it truly Okay, just a little bit more money. Just and nope. Still need more money. Dang it. And there we go. Bloom dissolver. Much more powerful and much more useful. Pops much faster and much more efficiently. Probably make more sense to get the balloon liquefier, this dude, because he needs, or whatever this upgrade is, because the more it's expensive, well, the better balloons that come do much more damage, and he can't really do much to stop him. The problem is I can't tell if it's worth it to sell him. Right now, I will get the. Well, that's not that good either. Because he can still hit them all, or at least most of them. Apparently not all of them. It doesn't matter if how many you have of them. It only matters... If... Although he's not even hitting them, what the frick? He's not hitting them. I 
made a very poor mistake. I am going to lose. But we are learning. That is knowledge is priceless. I was hoping to hold out for the upgrade. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I'm thinking I'm gonna die before then. Oh yeah, I forgot I had tower boost. Oh, only for that, I suppose. Well, I'll see you in the next round. Hey, look at that, I'm back. <laughs> yep, back for the new round. Don't need you guys to wait around for me. You guys can just skip ahead. Yeah. Thought I'd make the videos more seamless. Off to a great start. Come on, get corrosive glue. Come on, get corrosive glue. Come on, get corrosive glue. Well, at the end of the day, we all know I'm gonna lose every round. You know why? Because glue gunners are not good by themselves. But, what did we learn today? Well, we learned that don't trust glue gunners. That's a valuable lesson to know, to learn. And also, don't do this ever. Just don't. I'm gonna lose so many freaking medallions, but it's okay. Ooh, okay, so I should get corrosive glue, but the problem is, is that no money. Uh, I mean, uh, like, intense corrosive glue. I don't know what it is. It's, it's better. I know that much. Blue hose would be nice. Oh, dang it. Gotta wait a couple more seconds and then. Bam. Okay. So, now we got the better glue. Oh, well, the problem is, is that none of them are getting hit by it. There we go. Because before, none of them were getting hit by by this dude. They're all getting hit by him, the normal guy. But now they're all getting hit by the intense liquid dude. This is a good strategy, I think. This map may be actually good for gunners. This is... I hate it when it disconnects. I don't know on my end. I think it be on there. Super annoying. It's nice when it just straight up crashes. Like, they crash like the opponent. Because then you get all the boards without having to actually try too hard. Okay, so I'm going to get the balloon dissolver. Or whatever it's called. The, balloon, the intense balloon thing again. I need to learn the name of it, because I'm going to keep... Balloon Dissolver. Okay, I got the Balloon Dissolver now. And... Now, all of the balloons will be covered in the good... The good Balloon dissolver -ness. Yes. I know how to English properly. See, I'd like the glue hose, but the balloon dissolver glue is much more effective. And I just like it more. You understand what I'm saying? I hope you do. Because, yes. 
So I think this might be a, a good strategy, actually, because they dissolve the crap out of the balloons, which is what we want. And I'm not taking any damage currently. Oh, but this could be devastating right here. So many freaking red balloons. There's some yellows. Yikes. Ooh. Alright, now I'm just saving up my money. Because I would like to get the next upgrade on the blue on the blue gunners. He is sending a lot of blue. She I don't know. But other than the camos, I think I can take them. Oh gosh, why are there so many camos? Oh gosh, why are there so many camos? Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, that's maybe it, unfortunately. Because I can't do anything with camos. And I guarantee you, my opponent realized this weakness and is going to either send a Moab, which is probably what he's doing right now, because I think he's about to sell all this stuff to do it. Or, I don't even know what I'm saying. Or he's just going to send a bunch of camos, which would also be very devastating to me. Okay, I'm getting close to having enough money. Getting all so close. Bam! Bloom liquefier. Whew. That was an expensive upgrade. But it should hopefully increase how much damage I'm doing. I'm gonna sell this guy because he's clearly no longer useful. But I will get a balloon hose. Er. Oh no, those cams are gonna end it. Those cams are gonna end it, and it's gonna be over for me. Dang it. Oh, well, we made it this far. Surprising. These guys could hit camos. That'd be nice. But anyway, I skipped to the next round for you guys, so you can just enjoy that. And I'm not gonna play against this guy again because he's freaking annoying. But, see you in the next round. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm back with the new round. And I decided I was going to use support tower. I was going to use the... The, um... Monkey village. Because these guys can't hit camos. And it's unfair because I keep losing due to camos. And there's no point for me to keep losing to camos when I can just... Not lose to camos. So I'm gonna get, when the camos come, I don't know what round they do, but when they come, I'm going to use a, I'm gonna use a um, monkey village. And it will allow them to see camos, which is exactly what I need right now because I can't see camos, which is annoying as frick. Because what am I supposed to do? I literally lost last round because of camo balloon. So, I am going to use ba ba da ba monkey villages because they're good. Like, really good. And they just allow me to see freaking camos. Which is exactly what I need. The only problem is, is that those are expensive. It costs 1250 for a single freaking one. Thousand two hundred fifty dollars for one of those. Not to mention all the upgrades, and I'm already tight on money because I can't really send balloons to the other player since you know. Glue gunners suck, but it is okay because I'm just gonna get this balloon dissolver, which will definitely increase balloon destructivity. Is that a word? Destructivity. Here we go. Got a balloon solver. I get another one. It's not really that useful considering, you know. He can hardly even reach the balloons. Because by the time the balloons come his way, they're already popped. It's not good. And he has a pretty large radius, you can 
see in the blackout area, that's his radius. See, when I don't click on him, it's gone. Oh, by the way, I'm on the same side again. I'm on the left. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get this guy balloon dissolver, so that way, because a lot of these guys are being covered with normal glue, which is not what I want. I want them to be covered in good glue, which obliterates them. And I just need a couple more seconds, because every uh, six seconds, you get a lot of money. Like, $250, actually. That's the base amount you get each six seconds. So, I'm going to go ahead and get a monkey village, because they are good. And I need to be able to see cameras. So, that's going to be my next big purchase. It's a lot of money, so quite an endeavor but it will be worth it in the end okay i almost have enough money and bam so i don't need to get a bigger radius i just need to be able to see camera problem is i don't know what the upgrades look like so i don't know which i only want to get the ones that i need i don't i just want them to be able to see camos that's all i care about I think I went the wrong way, but it's okay, because it's not that much money. I just can't really see. Although they do attack faster, I think. Yeah, so just $1,750 or $1,750, and they will be able to hit camos. So it's a little bit of extra money. It's a lot of extra money, actually. But then I'll be able to see camos, which is exactly what I need. And it should make for an actually good strategy. Because these the glue groups are actually pretty decent. They're not that bad. I need more money quick. So the problem is that I didn't have enough money. I'm just a little bit more time and I would have had enough money. However, now they can see camos. It's good. So now they can see camos. Which is exactly what I need. Now I'm trying to get a balloon liquefier. Although I could have them attack faster, which would be excellent. Just need a couple more seconds. And they'll attack faster, so that way. Although I don't know if that would be that good, but it's okay, because not even that much money compared to the next upgrade I'm gonna get, so. Bam, they're attacking faster. So, I just need to get the balloon liquefier, which is a lot of money, unfortunately. But, then, they will be unstoppable, and that is what I need. So, now they can hit camos, see? Look, camos are obliterated. What once would kill me instantly, now is easy to defeat nice I think I may end up getting this guy to, I may end up selling this guy once I can afford to because in a couple seconds then I, I should probably do it yeah I'm gonna sell this guy pop then pop liquefier is that a risky move absolutely That's a bad idea. Kidding. My problem is I don't know what else to. I guess another balloon liquefier wouldn't hurt. I mean, it does hurt the wallet, of course, but the problem is that I want these balloons to get hit by the liquefying stuff not this glue gunner because he doesn't pop them as good whereas him by himself does what else to do now not really much i can do oh those cement things oh that did a lot of damage 
Okay, well, looks like I'll just see you in the next round. All this could probably be the end of the video because it's pretty long already. Yeah, so anyway, this is gonna be it for the video. Sorry, I know this is a long video or maybe short. I have no idea. I haven't edited it yet, but I hope you guys enjoyed it in the end. And if you did, like, subscribe, and I don't know, turn on that notification bell. I mean, that's just what all YouTubers say, so you don't have to. I just love it if you did. It would be so kind of you. I mean, the channel's been growing recently. I mean, it's nothing compared to any other channel, but to me, it's growing a lot. So, I can't wait to make more videos. I literally can't physically wait. I just want more time in my days, so that way I can make more videos. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.